And put your Bibles in your hand, make this bold and powerful declaration, if you will. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be taught the word of faith. I will hear, understand, and do the word of faith. I have a pastor anointed to teach me the word of faith. I will follow my pastor as my pastor follows Christ. Amen. We're so thankful to God for God is yet good and worthy to be praised. Please be seated. We don't get right into the word of God because I know God wants to bless you. God wants to strengthen you. Amen. And uh, let, me t let me share this with you because as we are growing in God, you must understand we have been distracted and deceived concerning, concerning earthly things, worldly, worldly materialism. That, that has been our goal and our focus. And uh, we have to understand that that has to change. Now, it's not about, oh, well, you got, because there's a lot of people got way more than me, uh, but the understanding, the mindset must be fixed concerning uh, our purpose here in the earth. Amen. You know, we, you know, we don't, nobody wants to get sick or see their loved ones get sick and things like that. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to go through death of a loved one, but the truth of the matter is we live to live again. Amen. Amen. Right. So we don't live to stay here forever. And of course, we, we, we grieve and we moan because, you know, somebody meant something to us. God gave us someone and they're gone. So, you know, but for me, I'm accepting the fact that I'm not here to live forever. Yeah. Right. And, and I got to leave here. But what, before I leave, my work going to be done. Amen. That's your main concern. My work being done. Amen. All right. And, then, and that's something we don't want you to get caught up in stuff. The devil has robbed people of their joy because of stuff. And that has to stop. You cannot find pleasure in materialism. You can't. Amen. Amen. Now granted, money has its place. If you have money, it determines a lot of things. But it should never determine your joy. Yes, come on. Do you hear me? Right. Yes. I know people think, well, you know, things is bad, blah, blah, blah. All we had was rice. But you ate, you say, right? Come on. No, because here's the thing. If we, if we get caught up in thinking, unless I got a ribeye, I don't have joy. The devil can come for you and win. True. So you must understand who God is in my life means more than anything. Amen. Let's get into the word of God. To all my people in Kissy, we love you. And uh, we believe in God to do some awesome things. We're coming January of the week of January 14th, uh, 2024. Uh, we're putting things in place. We have a lot of boots on the ground working and doing different things. And we appreciate you. We love you. And uh, we're looking forward to that great time. I will be there before that time to lock in some things. Um, but uh, January 2024, the week of the 14th, uh, we will be in kissing. All right. Let's get let's go to St. John 10 and 10. I was uh, just spending time with God like I always do. And um, he began, he, he, he dropped this word on me and I had to research it and deal with it. And, um, and I'm telling you that when it comes to this, this time that we recognize, um, not like we don't recognize the other time, but we, 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 we speak more of our history during the month of February. We always have history. It's not a month. It's just a history. Um, I'm telling you the hand of the devil has been mixed up when it comes to Africans from the very beginning. And if, if you don't see that, if you don't accept that as truth, what happens is the devil constantly manipulates the situation to make us feel something even toward each other that, that clashes with the plan of God for our life. You have to understand that when God made Africa, he, did, he made one nation, one people. It was the Berlin Conference. It was white people. That got together, European countries that divided Africa. And people said, well, you know, that's old, you need to get over it. Well, you know, the Portuguese just got kicked out of certain parts of Africa in 1975. Don't act like this is 300, 400, the, the, and the aftermath of it. And um, so we have to understand that that attack has not so much been about just us, but against the plan of God. 
who God, the Bible is right, who God put in place to hold a certain position, the enemy come to switch that around. Right. And that's why the Bible said, I've seen kings walking and servants riding. Right. But you have to accept the fact that this is bigger than just me and my house. Mm -hmm. This is an attack against the plan of God that God wanted to take place in the earth. Now, this is not a racist message. This is simply the word of God. There's plenty of scriptures talk. We read one this morning. People hating you without a call. Tell me who are the people that go around hating. I'm talking about by nature. We, all, we got good people in every ethnicity. We got bad people in every ethnicity. But who are the, the proponents of this ethnic group hate people without a call? Well, I mean, this is obvious. I'm not talking something that, uh, you know, everybody's not uh, 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 knowledgeable of. The elephant is in the room and nobody wants to discuss it. The Catholic Church perpetuated slavery. The Portuguese were the founder of the first people to enter the continent of Africa and begin to lure people for slavery. And the Catholic Church, the Pope himself, not only endorsed it, but he put his blessings on it. The, the intent of the Catholic Church was to rob Africa of its culture. See, what, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, that's why you need, that everybody, just because you go to Bible college don't mean you're ready to be called by God because there's some stuff that make, uh, uh, um, you, it makes sense to the natural mind, but you got to go deeper. We didn't need the Bible to know not to rape some, some woman. Right, come on. Come on. We didn't need the Bible to say not to steal. It was part of our culture. So, so you have to understand that from the very beginning of our existence, we've been under attack. So when the Bible says the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy, we weren't talking about your little measly car. Right, come on. He wasn't talking about your little house. He wasn't talking about your job. He was talking about the plan that God had in the earth for his people. Yes, yes. So the thief came to steal, kill, and destroy. I come that he might have life. And that you might have it, have it to the full, or have it more abundantly. Listen, listen to me. Let me tell you something. When you start understanding why God even made me, who I am in the earth, and the position I hold now, do you know the divide? You know I have. I just posted something when it was singing a song. You have rescued my life. Immediately, I thought about where I came from. Mm -hmm. Now you in Brooklyn now. Uh, Brooklyn today ain't Brooklyn. I grew up in. No, no, no white folk walk through Brooklyn where I live unless you was the police. And even then, you better put a pep in your step. Unless it was a group of y'all and y'all plan on it. See, see, the stuff y'all see now, and y'all, I've been seeing this all my life. I've been seeing police officers humiliate, try to shame black men since I was a little boy. I was cleaning the barbershop. This is nothing new. So the stuff we're making a big deal now about, this has been going on for a long time. So when I, be, when I begin to look at where God brought me from, the song takes different meaning than yeah. a good melody from me. Yeah. So you have to understand that, that now where God positioned you, where God have you, there is something the devil has been trying to do for a long time. We said I was in Africa, in Nairobi, when God gave me this word. And I looked at the church. I was standing up on the, on the top of the hill and I could see the roof of the church. And you had to go down a rough terrain, which we're going to fix. We're going to fix that. The, the people ain't going to be climbing over rocks and, and leaping over uh, uh, rocks to on the river to get to church. Amen. Look, let me tell you, that's what God told me. This is what the devil was trying. This is what he came to steal, kill, and destroy. He came to separate me from my people. Amen. The devil thought if I put the people in this situation, mm -hmm. somebody say, sound like you're talking about Job. If I put them in this type of situation, Amen. they will deny you. And every time, on every financial level we own, we praise God. Yes. It's a victory shot. Yes. Amen. Amen. Didn't have no food yesterday. But still, see, um, peculiar, the word peculiar means weird, mm -hmm. strange, mm -hmm. not normal, right. possibly don't fit in. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something. When you look at all we've been through, there are some that left the faith because they feel like God has abandoned them. But there's a, there, there's a lot of us that say, I understand what we've been through, but I'm still going to praise him. I understand the hardships. I understand not having food. I understand being spit on, being treated less than 
a human, I understand I could be three times better. I'm talking about this, to see the airmen. I could be a ten times better and yet still not be able to be a power. That I could be the best quarterback in the NFL, but because you black, you can't be no quarterback, we're going to make you a wide receiver. Oh, we didn't come through. Y'all take for granted all them black boys throwing the ball down the field. But I was when I was brought up in the barbershop, they used to talk about how the white people wouldn't let black folk be a quarterback. How you going to leave a white folk boy? I'm talking about people so smart that they accuse the deceiving airmen for cheating. You can't, you too dumb. You too dumb to make these kind of scores. Retesting. And what they didn't know because of our camaraderie together. Somebody say unity. unity. They were talking about the test after the test, what you got wrong. So those that made a 92, when they retested them, yeah. they made a 98. I said, oh, how the hell? What the? <laughs> oh, oh, they listen to me. Listen to me. They've been spending so much time trying to degrade us. Even though science has proven, this didn't just come out this year, you know. Science been proven that, that black people are the original human God made. Right. Scientists say we don't know about no God because we can't put them in the lab. Right. We can't shake them and spin them and put them under this thing. We can't, so we can't say if they're, but whoever or whatever made humans made them people first. Right, man. Right. Right. So the devil has been ta attacking the plan of God concerning the African people since the very beginning. Now I understand some of the Caucasian followers that follow the ministry. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching history. So don't, don't blame me. I'm teaching history. Not only am I teaching history, I'm about to teach something today that, that God told me to teach. Do you understand me? So, so let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get you on this. Can you come get this please? Stop letting him sleep. Elder uh, Brian. <laughs> she just sit right there, let him sleep the evening. <laughs> the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. And been, he been trying to separate us from God. Now this has not just been proven. When slaves was brought over. Now first of all, you need to understand that the native people of this land, the original people of this land, when the European countries came, they tried to enslave them first. But the native people knew the land so well that they would take them through places. They couldn't control them. And that's why they tried to wipe them out, tried to kill all of the native people of this land because they couldn't control them. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Poison ivory. No, I don't know if y'all ever had poison ivory. Well, go, if they go untreated, that, that thing, that's an itchy situation. And you don't know that touching, scratching your face, then going to the bathroom and all that stuff. Yeah, the, the native people did a job on them. And they wouldn't comply. And so they tried to kill all the native people off. Right here, y'all heard me say it many times, you're gonna hear me say it until God called me home. This land right now, Pensalkin, is where the native people of this land grew tobacco. Do you know how, you really wanna know how the European countries took this country? Native people acting like God, being kind and nice and sweet. If they were to kill the first one that got off the ship, that we, we, we would still have a different situation. Right. <laughs> so now you got to understand that from the very beginning, there's been an attack against the plan of God. I want you to get this. The division, the divide. I came up in the area code 718. In the 80s and the 90s, we was killing each other. We was killing. If Listen, I'm willing to destroy your home if you put money in my pocket. Where do you think that come from? To, really, to, to hurt a family. To destroy a family. I'll sell drugs. I'll do whatever I need to do because I want to get rich. And then, and then the violence that took place. The, the divide was spreading like wildfire. Now you got to understand the same thing is going on in Africa now. One think they better than the other. Well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm an Ethiopian. Well, well, well. well I'm, I'm, I'm over here in Egypt. I'm by the pyramid. Oh, yeah, well, well. See, that, that mentality, that has been a job the devil has worked and implemented to keep the plan of God erased, eradicated from the earth. 
In unity is the one thing that, 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 that even God said, if the people come together. Now, God said, I can't even stop. There's something God designed inside of his children that if we come together, God said, I can't even stop. That's why we got different languages. Y'all do know that. That's in the Bible. We got different languages because God had to, come, had to change the language because everybody was speaking the same language and they was building this tower up to heaven. And God said, let me tell you right now, when these people come together, ain't, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no stopping them. Well, you got to understand, that's why it's constantly something going on to divide us. So if the thief comes in to steal, kill, and destroy, you need to understand the first thing he needs to do is divide us. You got to know what God's plan is for you in the earth, and then you got to implement that thing. Here's what God wanted me to talk to you about today. It's about the, the healing of trauma. The healing of trauma. What is trauma? There are three main types of trauma. Acute, chronic, and complex. Acute trauma results from a single incident. Chronic trauma is repeated and, and, and repeated and pro prolonged, such as a, like domestic violence, uh, abuse, slavery. This is chronic trauma. Complex trauma is exposed to ver ver variety and multiple uh, events that constantly perpetuate uh, trauma in your life, mentally, emotionally. It's like a bombardment. It's like trying to dodge raindrops in a storm when it becomes a chronic trauma. You develop a lifestyle that peace is not even something talked about, let alone believed. In a nutshell, trauma can be summed up in the acts, post, pre, and post slavery. If you want to look at trauma, and all its definitions, it can be put, summed up, all up in slavery. If you touch anything dealing with slavery, you see the trauma. Mm -hmm. Trauma puts you in a state of mind that you can't function like you ought to. Trauma puts you in a state of mind that even if you royalty, you'll act like a peasant when you've been on the trauma. Listen, make no, state, make no mistake about this. There's serious trauma in wartime. Right. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's serious trauma when you are being used or being treated or, or being instructed to be something that God never intended for you to be. Oh, that's trauma. Mm -hmm. Trauma becomes the thing. Now, let, uh, let, let me back up. Let me back up because I want to deal with this. The acute trauma is, not, is something that can be done in an instant. You know, uh, you know. When you when you hear the word trauma, like you know, um, somebody can get hit in the head, and 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 it causes a trauma. Mm -hmm. You know, it it is it, something that happens that is out of the norm, and it not only hurts, it does damage. Right. It's not just an emotional hurt, but what you got to understand is that chronic uh, 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 trauma is something that is consistent. Because a drop of water will put a hole in the rock if it's consistent. And what you're seeing among most young black people is a consistency of complex trauma. Constantly reminding you of who you are and what you got to get. And I'm about to say something. I hope you get this. They've been getting us to fight because they weren't treating us fair. And we missed it. That wasn't God. You didn't have to fight because they lowered the bar for their people and raised it for us. If you can jump eight feet, just because they let their people jump three feet, why, why are we wasting time fighting? You Come on now. Six feet is the requirement. Jump six feet, you black boy, and you can go get that job. Oh, oh, how you doing, my pale skinned people? You only have to jump three feet. We've been fighting to get the bar the same. God said you're supposed to have been jumping. Right. Instead of marching and complaining about how wicked and evil that this people are to you, God said, I've given you what you need to win. Yeah. 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 
You so busy out here talking about it ain't fair. It ain't fair. Right, right. You're not looking for fair. Because if you want, if you really want to look for fair, oh my goodness. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me drop something. Do you know that there was an all-black hockey team? Not, not a player. The whole team. And they were so phenomenal. They were so great. They had to disband that thing. They forbid any. Listen, listen. The cruelty because of the color of your skin. Oh no, it's no secret that you're special in the sight of God. Can't nobody, can't nobody deny that. Amen. That cannot be denied. We have had more adversity, yet we have triumphed more than any other ethnic ethnicity. Amen. Oh man, y'all mad, y'all mad. I know you, I know your stepmama might be European, but I'm still going to speak. So it's been a consistent reminder you're less than. And, 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 and it's a brainwashing. And then you start acting less than. Now I'm about to say something, nobody get offended. Because once I, once I, if I can get you to, to believe you're not royal, that you're one of the peasants, it's just a matter of time your house gonna look like a peasant. Right. Right. It's just a matter of time. You, you think it's all right to come out your house smelling on them and stinking, nasty looking because you don't know who you are. We say, well, I can't afford no deodorant. Then you just got to wash your behind three times a day. Because you royal. And royal don't, don't carry foul odors. But, but because that, that complex trauma has been there, we all get around, just hang around musty and smelly all, and everybody happy with it. The devil is a lot. You need to know who you are, and you need to act like it. You need to talk like it. So, 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 so once we know the consistency of the devil and what he's been trying to do, how he's been trying to get us to a place that we don't know who we are, and when you when, when your identity is lost, that, that trauma becomes so permanent, that trauma becomes your lifestyle. To be snatched out of your identity, out of your culture. They say that the Haitian people work witchcraft. To get free. I'm here to tell you the witchcraft they work. We need some of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. You ain't gonna call my culture witchcraft. Mm -hmm. what, what are they doing? Why are they dancing like that? What's them rituals? Why are they beating them drums like that? And it, and it, it, it got rhythm. That must be the devil. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Don't don't link up with everything said about our people right. and run off with it. Right. Amen. Haiti has some of the beautiful beaches in all the world, but you know what? Haiti refused to bow down. Yeah, and, and, and if you keep talking about your independence, I'll send people in there and kill your president if he don't line up. Oh, come on, I'm not. I'm, Y'all want me to forget it, but this here ain't, ain't too many months old of them killing the president of Haiti. Walk up in the man's house. Let me tell you something. The devil has been working overtime to rob us of our identity. Amen. Amen. Listen, trauma is worse than stress. Trauma is life-threatening yes. mentally and physically. Yes. Do you know what it means to die mentally? That's when you lose your identity. You don't know who you are. You don't know where you're going. Amen. The average person don't have a destiny they're working toward. They wake up and whatever life brings, I'm going to deal with it. Why don't you wake up with a fight? This is what I must do. I'm telling you, you got to know God's hand is on your life. If the devil, if the devil could do anything to us, he would have been wiped us out. But he can't. Oh, let me, let me, I don't, let me, let me calm down. Stress is a mental challenge. The only reason you can get stressed is you don't know or you're too lazy to implement. I'm going to say that again. When you are stressed, you don't know how to fix a problem. You're overwhelming yourself because you lack the knowledge of it or you're too lazy to implement it. Ain't nobody stressed about tying their shoe. But when you're too fat to get down there and... Let me leave that alone. Stop that. Everybody thinks stress is all that bad 
but and, and it's proven when you are stressed, your body responds in a way that that they medically don't know until it talks start to destroy you. There are people that get stressed and they will eat their nails until it until it, it bleed. There are people that are stressed, their hair will fall out. There are people that are stressed, they won't eat. There are people that are stressed, they'll eat everything. Stress comes in to destroy. And we don't know what the devil is doing in stress until it manifests. And then they try to sedate the devil. If you can solve the challenge before you, you can remove stress. I'm about to tell you something. God told me this. This is one of the reasons why they mesmerized about the pyramids. Now I'm about to connect it for you. Because to, to do what they did in the pyramids, it requires another level of math we know not of. Right. Which means they got a level of problem solving right. that we know not of. Right. If they ever get to the place, they start working problem solving skills on us. We in trouble. Oh, you ain't got to believe that. Math is about solving problems. Math is about having a problem and learning how to fix it, have an answer. Are you listening to me? You know, a black man came up and he said uh, he was debating. Matter of fact, you know, it was a great debate about that. The man that was on, uh, what's that movie where the guy claims they, yeah, they beat him up because he was gay? What's the name of that movie? Empire, yeah. So Lucius is his name on Empire. So Lucius is a very intelligent man. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Y'all know if y'all ever heard him. The boy, the boy is like off the, off the meter. He's like beyond smart. All right. And he started talking about math. And I said, you know what? That's and I'm telling you, when I heard him talking about zero times anything, they tell us it's zero. But a zero is is nothing. How can zero take away? From something that does exist. Right. No, the boy's smart. The boy's smart. You know what he was talking? I said, that's that pyramid mindset right there. Come on. Oh, that intimidating. Because if I don't know how you can solve problems. See, if I know you got a baseball bat, then I know how close I need to get. Come on now. But when I don't know what you got. Right, right, right. Come on. Oh, y'all not getting, y'all not, y'all, 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 y'all letting this go over your head. So the pyramid mindset is something that, feed, that, that, that that brings fear because I don't know how you know how to solve this problem. Right, right, right. Or they don't want to just know so they can build one. They want to know so that they can dominate. Right. That's why I'm trying to let you know God is on your side. There are some things that the enemy just can't get. There are some things God is not going to give that long. Let me get this. Let me get this. So the question now, I was sitting and I'm studying this, and, 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 and the, the Holy Spirit asked me this question for me to study it. What is worse than trauma? What if trauma terrorizes you until it becomes a lifestyle? What's worse than trauma? And it said PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Listen, it results from extreme trauma, such as what happens in a hurricane. Earthquake, a trauma experience in a war. You know, like, you know, y'all, 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 you better hear me on this now. And this is for a lot of my veterans and people that have been to war. Do you know there's one group of people that can go to war, see people's head blown off, body parts all over the place? They can come back to America and leave this country and be great. But there's another group of people that traumatize. You know good and well, we as humans have no business doing this. Right. Especially when it's for something we don't believe in. Right. These are just my orders. Right. Right. Oh my goodness. You, if, 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 I know you think it's a coincidence between John McCain and the man under the bridge talking to himself. The difference is God live in one and not in the other. You can be mad at me all you want. The God in me is not happy with what I've done over here. I know America told me it was for peace. I know America told me that they had some, some uh, mass destruction weapons. In, but, but inside of me, I can't rest. Right. Right. That I'm part of a plan to destroy a people like this. Right. But then you got the John McCain. I know y'all love him because at the end, you know, he started waking up and all this other good stuff. 
and, and, and he was against Trump and all. And, and boy, I'm telling you, boy, y'all better wake up. You better wake up. But but anybody that can, can kill people and come back and say, oh, it's just fine, it's good, it's good. There's something in you that say this is wrong. Well, that ain't from the devil. So, 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 so when you have post-traumatic stress disorder, there's an incident that happened. And everybody, every study, every theological-based study, every, every psychiatrist, the worst, PTSD is like The worst post-traumatic stress disorder come through slavery more than any other war. Well, oh God, this post-traumatic stress disorder is, 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 it is bad enough, but, 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 but it's even worse than, than you sick, than you worried about your issue now, what you're going through. This post-traumatic disorder, uh, uh, stress disorder, it make you feel like this is normal for me. See, you, okay, so when you go in the barbershop and somebody say, hey, listen, 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 listen. The cops pull you over, keep your hands on the steering wheel. Just keep your hands on the steering wheel. And we look like, yeah. Yeah, well, that, yeah well, what's the, we know this. Right. Mm -hmm. See, that's part of that PTSD. Yeah. Yes, it is. Because we've accepted as a black man, Come on now. we can be killed at any moment. And then they love to be one of them. Make us act like them. Want to live with them. Want to now I'm not saying nothing against you know good people and all that. But we get to the place now that we start accepting things as normal. When it's not wrong. Right. No matter the color of my skin. No police officer should think they have a right. Y'all know what the, the origination of police were. They were to, to bring back slaves that tried to escape. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't that we were in bad neighborhoods and somebody said, we should get something called police. <laughs> no, no. They said, my property is on the run. We need somebody to go get my property and bring it back. Oh, oh, let me, let me tell you something. And this is all history. And if you read a little bit, you're going to know. If you go back, just, they got to go back far. They got to go back far. 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Well, the police and the Klan was one and the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was like almost, it's almost like, you know, there are a lot of gun clubs I belong to. And do you know, some of them, it's an automatic, you've got to be a part of the NRA. Mm -hmm. I know he bash you. You know, now we got one. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, what is it, NCAA? You know, we got, what is it? Now, don't you say it, baby. <laughs> but, but, it's, but no, no, it's for African Americans, that, you know, for gun rights and all sorts of stuff. But, 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 but you need to understand that sometimes we walk into things not even understanding what we connected to. I'm going to get through this. I, I'm, 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 I'm going to preach until I'm, until I'm done, though. The PSD make you feel like what I'm going through is normal for me. It's worse than anything because I expect to be treated a certain way because of me. In other words, the negative experience are prolonged and repeated. That you're less than. That you're less than. Oh my God, let me tell you something. If we sit around and wait for people to treat us right versus knowing what we need to do to win. Now, and now it is what it is. Now, I'm not telling you. Be free. Do what you want to do. All right? <sighs> but there are certain things we need to do to keep our children safe. You don't need to wear that. I didn't even know. I went to go pick up the piece. I don't suit both sides. I'm in the neighborhood. Everybody looking at me cock out it. And uh, the police is looking at me, staring at me, like literally slowing down. And then my kid, I come home. My kid, yeah, you can't wear that there. It wasn't well, who was you driving? I, was, I drove my car. Oh yeah, see, all the drug dealers got muscle cars. That's but when they hook one person. No, because I ain't trying to force my wardrobe on any community. I go up there with a bike and a basket. 
<laughs> no, because there are certain things we need to adapt to to win. Now you can do what you want with your hair. But you need to know if you want to work for a certain company, that hair ain't going to be accepted. See, we got to do what we got to do to win. Stop trying to make the devil children act like God's children. Just win. Our job is to win. But this is the main thing, and then I'm done. Here's the thing that God wants us, if you go to Psalms 150. Here's some things in all the studies concerning trauma. Keep in mind, it's proven. Slavery, post-slavery, you know, the Jim Crow laws, the, the you ain't human laws, you less than a dog law. All the things that we had to endure, everyone has concurred that that is the worst trauma anybody can go through. But God said, I got a remedy. The deliverance from trauma. Listen, all of the studies say that these four things will help you in your trauma. They don't understand it, but it is proven. These four things are the main things. If you do them, it'll help you with your trauma. And I want you to get this. That is, you can study this. Medically and psychological studies proven that if you want help with your trauma, here's some things you need to do. Mo a movement and exercise. Keep yourself moving. As trauma disrupts your body's uh, uh, natural equilibrium, exercise and movement can help repair the nervous systems of that trauma. So physical fitness is not just to look good for pictures on Facebook. Right. Are you listening to me? So, so they said, I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you something. The second thing they said, connect with others. The third thing they said, ask for support. The fourth thing they said, volunteer your time. Oh my God, I know you can't connect it, but there's a lot that science can't figure out, but they know it still works. Water's wet no matter whether it's in a bottle, a glass bottle, wet bottle, sponge, water's still wet. They can't separate it. Look, go to Psalms 150. I was so excited to get here today, I left my iPad home. Thank God for this little phone here. Psalm 150. This is what you got to understand. This is why how the devil crept into the black church and called our praise the Holy Ghost because it did make us feel better. It made us get free from things that the devil has put on us. Psalm 150. Keep in mind, they said you need movement and you need exercise. Now look at Psalm. Psalm 150. Look what it says there. I want you to get this. Praise the Lord. Praise God in this sanctuary. You got to get there. Somebody said you got to get there. Yeah, yeah. Praise him in the, in the mighty heavens. Come on. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Come on. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Somebody said keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. Praise him with the harp and the loud. Come on. Praise him with the tremble and the dance. Praise him with the strings and the pipe. Come on. Praise him with the clash of symbols. Praise him with the resounding symbols. Come on. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. See, praise is not just something we give because it's true. Praise is something that's going to help us with our trauma. Now you understand why the devil been trying to rob you of your praise. Don't want you moving. That's why when praise is going forth, you can't sit down looking for somebody to entertain you. That's why you got to clap your hands. That's why you got to jump to your feet. Lord have mercy. That's why you begin. The Bible says in Psalm, starting at Psalm 146, it started with praise ye the Lord and it ended with praise ye the Lord. Psalm 147 started with praise ye the Lord and it ended with praise ye the Lord. Psalm 148 started with praise ye the Lord and it ended with praise ye the Lord. Psalm 149 started with praise ye the Lord and it ended with praise ye the Lord. Psalm 150 started with praise ye the Lord and it ended with praise. Listen, whatever the devil is doing to you, keep your praise unto the Lord. Go to Hebrews 10 and 24. Hebrews 10 and 24. Hebrews 10 and 24. And look, let's look up because the trauma that we been, we went through. I'm here to tell you it's our relationship with God that kept us hanging in there. 
I remember I was at a store and there was a kitten. He was hanging on one little thread. And 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 the, the post used some profanity and said, Oh shoot. He didn't say shoot. And but but listen, but the kitten held on in there. Lord, I remember some of us have been through some stuff and have been through some storms and people crying about I don't have school fees and but there's somebody else that don't even have food to eat. And, We've been talking about how people have been mistreating us on the job, but there's some people that can't even get a job. Lord, have mercy. Hebrews 10 and 24. Look what it says. I want you to get this. Oh, my God. Help me. And let us consider how we may spur one, spur one another on toward love and good deeds. 25. Look at this. Not giving up meeting together. Fail not to assemble yourself. Listen, the second thing scientists, psychiatrists say is connect with others. The Bible says, fail not to assemble yourselves together. Oh my God, as some are in the, ha the habit of doing, but encourage one another and all the more as ye see the day approach them. Listen, I don't care what you go through. Get yourself with somebody that thinks like you. Get, get yourself with somebody that honors God like you. Go to Matthews 11 and 28. God help me. Matthews 11 and 28. Because when I connect with pe like-minded people, it strengthens me. See, I've always tried to get my flesh under control. I always tried to get my eating under control. But now it became easier when the environment was the same. Lord have mercy. So I got children that don't eat no beef and no pork. I got one child that don't eat meat at all. I got a wife that don't eat red meat, no pork. Lord, ain't nobody sane but me and Alice in the house. We eat everything God's on him for me. Come to me. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Oh, my God. Listen, I want you to get this. It said connect with others. And then the third one was ask for support. Look what God said. Come to me. All ye who are weary. We're, go to the King James Version, if you will. Because I want, I want to read it how, how I studied this. King James Version says, Come unto me, all ye that labor. Lord, amen. now listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to get this. The word labor has to be studied in and of itself. The word labor says, I've been fighting a good fight. I've been trying to get out of this. I've, I've been trying to get ahead. I've been trying to overcome. God said, not you lazy ones. Listen, but come unto me, all ye that are labor and are heavy laden. The word, the word, the word laden simply means there's a load on you. And listen, and I will give you rest. Come on, give me the next verse. Listen, listen, take, come on, next verse. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Take, learn how I want you to survive. For, for, for I am meek and lowly. Now, here's what God is saying. Not only will I rescue you, he said, but I'm humble. I'm meek and lowly in the heart and ye shall find rest uh, unto your soul. So God is saying, when you come to me, I'm going to give you rest. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what the devil tried to do to you. He said, I'm going to give you rest. Go to Psalm 61 and 1. Psalm 61 and 1. It doesn't matter what the people trying to say about you. It don't matter if they say you're not smart. It don't matter if they say you don't pass the test. You had to cheat. Listen, just as the Tuskegee Airmen, they listen. They didn't try to prove it to nobody. I am what God said I am. Lord, help me. Hear my cry. Oh, Lord, Lord. Help me. God said, listen, psychiatrists say, if you ask for help, you got to know when you need help. You got to know when you need somebody to stand by you. You ain't Wonder Woman and Superman on TV. Somebody got to stand by you. Cry. Lord, have mercy. Hear my cry, oh, Lord, and attend unto my prayer. What are you asking God for? The, the problem is we've been asking God for all the wrong things. We've been asking God for things that don't matter to our destiny. But cry loud and spell out so that God hand can be moved. The last thing that they say would help you with your trauma is if you volunteer your time. Listen, I give God my everything. To volunteer means I don't have to get paid for this. Some people don't have nothing they'll do for God unless there's a proper exchange. But God says volunteer. Oh, have mercy. What do you mean volunteer? You got to tell God I give you my eyes and I give you my ears. I give you my hands, Lord, and I give you my feet for you to use me as you please. I live for your glory and not for myself. Listen, the last verse I'm going to read. Revelation 19 and 11. Because, listen, you can't be restored until what was taken from you is given back. You can't ask me to get over this because I'm not restored. You have fixed it 
a lifestyle on me that never was God's plan. Lord, let me read this. Oh, God. And I saw heaven. Lord, help me. I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doeth judge and make war. I say he make war. I say he make war. Go ahead to the next verse. His eyes were as flames of fire, and on his head were many crowns. I want you to get this. And he had a name written, written on that crown, that no man knew but he himself. Come on, look at this. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He come to pick a fight, and he said, my clothes is dipped in blood. I want you to catch up. And his name is called the Word of God. What's the name on the crown? Listen, the day is going to come. The Bible said it don't look like who's going to win right now. When, when you look at what we're going through with your natural eyes, you don't really know who's going to win. But Jesus said, I'm coming back. And you need to know I'm coming to fight. I'm, I'm coming not for peace. I'm coming for war. They said there's a name on this crown. And I don't know what it says. What does that name say? Your enemy said, I don't know. But, but when he gets close enough, they said his name is the word of God. That's why we need a word from the Lord. That word that say no matter what you go through, hang on in the hand. That word that say we can endure for night. But God, God gonna come in the morning. You need a word from the Lord. One word from the Lord. And every call. So he's coming to bring the past every promise he made to you. He's coming to bring the past everything he said about you. He said you're the head and not the tail. You're the lender and not the borrow. He said yeah, you ain't all you want to the valley of the shadow of death. Don't fear no evil because I'm with you. I'm no part in your family. Lord, help me up in here. It doesn't matter what you go through. You need a word from the Lord. Pass those hands and tell them thank you. One word. A word in your problems. A word in your situation. Just to find out God don't come through. But when you wanted him to. He, he said, I'll never leave you. No forsake you, but, but yet I feel abandoned. Uh, he said, I'm going to renew you. I'm going to restore you, but it seems like I keep on losing. But, but Jesus said, I'm coming back. Behold, my reward is with me. Uh, your reward, uh, because you've been fighting a good fight. Uh, he said, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, he said, I'm going to bring the past. Uh, everything. That, that the devil stole from you I'm going to restore it back to you Every day that you were sick and Every day that you were strung out on drugs See the devil got a plan to destroy you But God got a plan to restore you I'm coming back And I got a word The same word I promised you I'm going to bring it to pass The same word I gave you when you were crying I'm going to bring it to pass I'm going to bring it to pass They ain't looking for you to fail But if God be for you He's better than the whole world against you Have your hands and hands and Come on, finish it